Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to do a full face get ready with me makeup tutorial. This is a look that's based on one that I wore in a couple of videos lately, in particular the when and how to start an anti-aging skincare routine video. When you guys ask for a tutorial, I can pretty much go back to the info box and pretty easily figure out what I did that day and know what I was wearing. I had used the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette to get the eye look. For this video. So I am going to be doing a review on the Sweet Peach palette, but Too Faced also recently came out with their Natural Love palette, and I actually bought both of these. So if you want to see a review that kind of compares these two, give this video a thumbs up, and then I'll know that you want to see that video. But in the meantime, let's go ahead with today's look, which I think is a really nice, light, um, springy, summery look that can be worn by just about everyone. Now the first step I always put on is my sunscreen. The sunscreen I'm wearing today is the Australian Gold Botanical Face Tinted 50. This is my new favorite that I absolutely love and that I was wearing under my makeup in that video. It has a nice matte skin-like finish, but sometimes it makes my foundation look a little flat because it is very um, oil absorbing. So if you have oily skin, it's wonderful for that. So what I've been putting on over the sunscreen is my Becca Backlight Priming Filter. So I just take like a half a pump, not really that much. Disguise my pores a little bit and give some parts of my face a little more radiance than they might otherwise get out of this combination of sunscreen and foundation. I rub that in where I have textural issues and large pores. Then I do a separate primer under my eyes because I don't like my under eyes to be radiant, but I do like them to be a little bit moisturized and to help my under eye concealer last a little bit longer. So what I use for that is the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. Apply it underneath both my eyes from the inner corner to the outer corner. Then the third primer that I do like to put on is my eyelid primer, so I let that set up for a few minutes. I am going to be using, probably for the last time, my Tarte Clean Slate 360 because this has been discontinued. You know, all my favorite products get discontinued. Don't worry, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance is very similar to this one. Now I'm going to have to do a new eyeshadow primer video. We're going to have to look at some of those, but I love them, so it's cool. So the foundation I'm going to use today is my Holy Grail. It is the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet. The shade I wear it in is beige 30. Just put that on the back of my hand. This applies best with the fingers, so that's what I do. Wait, I feel a hair on my face. Okay, so I just start in here and I make sure that I rub it in really nice to um, that little side of my nose there because that's where most people have their broken capillaries and some enlarged pores. So you want to really work it in there good. And then I kind of take it and spread that across my cheek. I just love how this looks on camera. I love how it looks in real life. You know, it's just not too heavy of a makeup look. Same thing on the other side. I'm just going to stop talking so I can fast forward through this a bit. Continue your makeup down your neck. I kind of try to define the edges of my lips because of all the sun damage I have. My lip edges are not very smooth and even. And then I wipe my lips off. I usually put on a little lip plumper and let my lips plump up a little while I'm doing my makeup. So today I'm going to use my Glam Glow Plump Rageous Matte Lip Treatment. So we'll do the under eye concealer next. The one that I used in that video was the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I'm using this one in medium. I can't stand a little spongy, spongy applicator on this thing, so I ripped it off, um, which was some advice from some of you guys, so thanks so much. And then I just twist it and when a little glob appears there, I take this little old lip brush and I just paint a little triangle at the inner corner of my eye. And I think the best thing to do with the under eyes as they get older is to do the minimum amount of concealing where you need it. I just take my finger and I pat to blend it across under my eye. And before that has a chance to crease, I like to hit it with my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores HD Powder uh, to set the under eye concealer. So I just take a little bit on a brush and I just press it right over the under eye concealer. I also like to set right in between my eyebrows a little bit in the nasal labial folds because I don't like them to be shiny. This will make my pores look minimized. Tip of my nose, down here in my 
chin where I have a, my what I call my Ripley skin and that's it just a light dusting all right you guys let's move on to the eyeshadow I can't remember exactly what I did because I didn't write it down I'm gonna use my beauty junkies pro all over shader brush and I'm gonna dip it into this nice pink color down here which is called Georgia and I'm gonna spread that all over my movable lid and I'm also gonna bring it up above the crease Ah, help, I think it's too pink already. Oh my gosh, this is just gonna be us like doing a little experiment in um, eyeshadow. And instead of that pinky color called Georgia, I think we're gonna go into Peaches and Cream right here in the lower corner with that same brush. So let's give that a try. I'm gonna start that on the other eye. I'm gonna pack it all over the movable lid. Pretty much do the same thing. Yeah, that looks more like it. Okay, well, live and learn, right? So now I'm going to take that and do the other eye. So this eye kind of has a different base color than this eye. The thing to do is add just a little Georgia to this one. So if you're doing this at home, you can choose one or the other. Now are my eyelids the same color? Oh my God, you guys. Oh, sometimes it just cracks me up, me trying to do this stuff. All right, so next I'm going to use my MAC 221 brush, and I'm going to dip it into Charmed, I'm sure, right up here. I'm going to use a pack of Post-its as my guide here. Sometimes I will stick it to my face today. I'm not in the mood for that. So I'm just going to take this. I'm going to create my little outer V here by starting in the crease and just drawing my brush down to the corner of my eyelashes and then working that just the tiniest bit, like a quarter inch in deep in the crease. Then I'm gonna use my Beauty Junkies tapered blending brush. I'm just gonna blend that out. And I just use these little circular motions to blend it. I wanna blend it a little bit up out of the crease and then a little bit across in the crease. So I think I'm gonna use Puree. And with that, I'm gonna use my Sigma E36 blending brush. They're really wonderful little brushes that make detail work for older eyes really easy. So I'm just going to pop this in kind of over where I just put Charmed, I'm sure. Except I'm going to go more across the crease. And then again, I'm going to blend that out with the Beauty Junkies Pro Tapered Blender. Then I'm pretty sure I use this gorgeous purple color called Peach Pit right here along with my Sigma E46 brush. And I'm just gonna make like a little wedge here at the outer corner, just to darken it up a little bit. And then again, I'm just gonna blend that. So we're just keeping it really soft, really subtle, but just quietly darkening up that outer corner. All right, and then I'm also gonna take Peach Pit on the same little brush, and I'm gonna run that along the lower lash line, drawing it up to meet the little wedge. Then I see that I have some metallic um, sparkly peach in the center, so just taking this color here, Bellini, on my finger, and I'm just gonna pat that in the center and just drag it a little bit to the inner corner. From that Sigma set, this is the E56 brush, Peaches and Cream. And we'll do a little brow highlight. So you wanna start sort of at the center of your brow because you don't want it to be like highlight in here. You just want it to be right under the outer two thirds. Okay, I was just looking at the uh, a still from the video and it's close, but I think that the um, shimmer was a little poppier in that one. The Sigma E56. I'm going to pick up a little of Luscious and I'm just going to put that on the movable part of the lid and into the inner corner. So I think that's looking pretty good, pretty much like uh, what I had in the video. You can work back and forth with the darker shades with Charmed, I'm sure, and Peach Pit at the outer corner to make that into what you want it. And then of course, just remember to always blend, blend, blend that out. All right, let's move on to the eyeliners. The first one I'm gonna use is Sephora Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour Waterproof. This one is in Blonde Ambition. I use that on my lower lash line, so I'm just gonna tight line that. And then same product, different color. This is Tiramisu. So I'm just gonna do the tight lining on my upper lashes with that. 
And let's do the blob technique. I haven't done this in a while. It's one of my favorites. Um, so I like to do the waterline and then as I bring it to the outer corner, I just leave a little extra glob of eyeliner out there. And then I take a flat brush like this Beauty Junkies Flat Definer and I just grab the eyeliner at the outer corner and flick it up. So that's going to be our template for our liquid liner to show us where to put it. Then for the liquid liner, I'm going to use my Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Liner. <laughs> Wish me luck. All right, last step for the eyes are to curl the eyelashes. This is my trim eyelash curler. I got it at Walmart. It is super fantastic, like $3.99 best eyelash curler I've ever gotten. Easy grip, comfort grip, something like that. And I'll be using my new favorite mascara, my Estee Lauder Sumptuous Knockout. This mascara, oh my god, it is the bomb. Talk about fanned and nice looking lashes. I hate the ones where it makes your lashes into like creepy spiders. In that video, I use blush and highlighter from my Beauty Junkies Magnetic Palette. I went with the Peachy Blush, which is called Peach Petal. I also use the warmer of the two highlighters, which is this one here, and it is called Pow number 905. For the blush, I use my It Cosmetics Tapered Blush Brush. And then I start high on my cheekbone and work it forward. Get a nice natural looking flush of blush going on there. Now onto the Beauty Junkies Pro Highlighter Brush and this little bit of highlighter. I just kind of dip it in there. And then I start again high on the cheekbone and bring it forward. I like to do a little round puffer in the front. I think that makes the apple of the cheek look bigger, rounder, more apple-y. Okay. And then if you want to add a little more, you can put it on your nose, above your eyebrows. I usually do a little pat right in the center of my chin there. And let's just finish off the lip. What I used in that video was the Sephora Gel Lip Liner in Nectarine. Then the lipstick I put on top of that to tone it down a bit was my Hourglass Girl Stilo Lipstick in Dreamer. Last thing I'm going to do is just brush my brows. They have grown in so amazingly using Revitalash that I don't really need to do anything with them except just groom them into place. All right, so there you have it. The look is complete. All right, everybody, so that's it for the video for today. I hope you found it helpful and informative. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And as always, I thank you for your time and really appreciate your watching. So have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.